Hi guys, I'm Siano Jalota. We are back with the MCQs from Board of Studies portal. Already all the MCQs from the module are there with the detailed explanation of the MCQ plus the concepts and everything. If you have not checked them out, please check all the playlists, one for every chapter. But I see AI lately to help the students, so therefore they get the first hand uh, information how the examination questions will be. Those guys had uh, been putting more questions on Board of Studies portal and this is from where I have picked up these MCQs. Just as a reminder for those kids who wish to be enrolling for a complete course, the link is there in the description. Okay, once you click on that link, all the details that you might be needing will all be coming. Once you complete the procedure, your lectures will automatically start. Absolutely no need to call us for anything. Now, we'll start away with today's MCQ. This is from chapter number one, introduction to SCM. Value proposition canvas is based on which elements of business model canvas? So, in case you wish to be answering this, you should be knowing what is business model canvas and then you should be knowing what is value proposition canvas. In any case, the four options over here. First one, customer segment and key activities. Second one, customer segment and channels. Then value proposition and cost structure and lastly value proposition and customer segment. Now all these options you'll be getting in any case in the business model canvas. In case you all do not know, this is how a business model canvas looks like. It has nine parts, four on left, four on right and one in the middle one. The parts on the left, they indicate the things within the business. Who are your key partners? What are your key activities? What are your key resources? What is your cost structure looking like? On the right hand side, you have the things from the market outlook. You have customer relationships, you have customer segments, then you all have your channels, uh, where do you sell the wholesale customers, the retail customers up and so on. Apart from that, what are your revenue streams from where do you get the money? And the left and right hand side has something in middle that is very important, that is value proposition. Now based upon two elements, I'm saying the answer also now, based upon two elements of this business model canvas, a more detailed analysis was done. Value proposition that you all have was trying to explain further and hence one part came in form of value map. And then the other part that is nothing but customer segment was again explained in detail in form of customer profile. And we say if you have to be doing any business and that business has to be successful, then value map has to be matching with customer profile. And that is where this fit word comes, okay, that you all see right now between customer profile and value map. Now, I'm explaining you value proposition canvas. See, any business, if it has to be working, ultimately customers have to be buying your product. Customers have certain needs as such. To give you a small example, say, what is value proposition of a company like Baiju's? I understand that that company is going through a very bad times, but I, I'm not trying to go into that. I'm just trying to be explaining what is value proposition canvas. So parents want their kids to study. So therefore, they have got some job to be done. They want their kids to be studying. That is that part. They are experiencing certain pains. The kids don't study. They find the studies very boring. But then the parents are expecting by joining some course, they will be able to get some extra gains also. So therefore, if suppose a company like Baiju's is there, they are trying to be solving this problem of the consumer by their products and services. That is one thing. So therefore, they make the products which will solve these needs of the consumers. That will relieve them of the pain. So therefore, then the parents don't have to bother about the studies of their kids. Apart from that, game creators, they, the parents will be getting certain gains, like, you know, they can interact with the teachers to know about their progress. They get an app also, whereby the results of the kids come, so on and so forth. So therefore, two elements from business canvas model come in form of value proposition. These are the value proposition and obviously the customer segment. So therefore, out of the four options, answer should be number four over here. That should be the correct answer. That is the correct one. I'm taking good amount of efforts to be ensuring that everyone in India gets first hand kind of the solution of all the MCQs. Do remember to watch this out. If your examination of SCPM is pending, I would request that try to finish it off as fast as possible all the self paced papers. So therefore you can start to be concentrating on your main six papers. I'm there only to help you out in SCPM. All the best. 
share like and comment i'll see you all next time bye